Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, ASR Custom Designs. Um, in this video, I am going to show you guys how to um, make um, one of my signs. It's um, the home, um, home sweet home sign with the um, coordinates on the bottom. Um, so what I'm going to show you guys first is how I stain my wood. Um, what I and which one I use, dark walnut. Um, so. And I've already sanded my board down, so it's all smooth and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I always put something underneath my board so I don't have to worry about um, dripping it on my garage floor. So what I do is just take my, take, uh, I, get, I buy these t-shirt things from Lowe's. So I'm going to go ahead and just. Alright, so got my board all stained. Um, I usually just let, or I usually just do one, um, one coat of it because it covers it pretty well. Um, so I am going to let that dry um, for overnight for about 24 hours, or probably probably till the morning. It usually um, dries pretty quickly. This is um, the kind that can dry. Um, with in like an hour but um it's pretty it's late so but yeah um so stick around and we will go to the next step and thank you very much Hey guys, um, so in my next video here, I'm going to show you guys how I get my trans, um, get my vinyl, my stencil vinyl onto my boards and how I get them um, like measured and make sure it's all on there before um, I lay it down. And I'm going to show you this thing, it's called a hinge method. 
um, very easy to do and it actually helps to get everything straight and all. Okay, so let me get my ruler. I've got that here. Those two look they look good on both sides. Alright, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, painter's tape. So and you can get this at your local hardware store, so like Lowe's, Walmart, Home Depot, um, Harbor Freight, you can get this anywhere, so alright, so what you do is over. So you take your piece of tape. What you're going to do is you're going to stick it in, put into about the middle of your board like that. And press it down. And you're going to lift it up. Roll it onto the back so it keeps your board your, where you had it measured in place. And then go around on that side too. <clears throat> okay, next thing you're going to do is let me get this. Alright, so next thing you're going to do is you're going to take up the back part here, so the white part. Thing. When you're pulling this off, just make sure your letters and stuff stay inside, like your centers. Okay. Next you do is you take your scissors and cut that back part off. Put this part, take that off. And then you take your stencil and you lay it down. Take your squeegee. Take off the back, so you take off your your tape. And then you go ahead and peel. Go ahead and peel the rest of this off. Do the same thing like you did on the other side, and you just take your squeegee.
All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take off the transfer tape, the clear part. Once you get a good, there you go. And you just kind of start rolling it. Sometimes your centers come up, just take your squeegee, press it down good. Take my squeegee one more time and just smooth it out. And now it is ready for the next stage, which is going to be painting it. So hang tight, and I'll be back in just a moment. I'm going to show you guys is how I um spray paint my wood um, for the, uh, with the stencil on it. What I did was I taped around the entire edges so none of the paint gets on there. Make sure it is completely um, uh, pressed down so you don't get any kind of bleeding. So, um, <coughs> sorry, it's really cold in my garage. Um, the paint that I use is the Krylon, let me see, Krylon and it's the flat white and it's the paint and primer color max brand okay so this is the first time i've tried white on a board um i did black with my other ones is done and I'm gonna let that sit for about two hours um, just to make sure it dries very um, even and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and then I will be back to show you um, the reveal okay guys so now I am going to show you guys how to pull off the transfer um, with the um, since I've already painted it and I've let it dry for two hours. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do next um, in order to show you guys the reveal of it. All right, here we go. So there's the sign. It turned out really good. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me on this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will put a link to this product on my Etsy page. 
Um, so you can check it out. And uh, make sure to please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.